of the largest manufacturers of trailers and semi-trailers for tractors in Russia, the Tenor Company, a few years ago, took up the creation and production of heavy mining haulers, and now it has entered another segment of the market with the development of the articulated hauler. The company's first articulated hauler was built this year. It was named Tenor T-35. Now this articulated hauler is being tested in real working conditions. It carries earth and sand from sand pits near the city of Vladimir. Probably, in dry weather, ordinary four-wheel drive haulers will also be able to work on this road, but if it rains, the road of clay and sand is washed away to complete impassability. Why talk about spring and autumn, when instead of the road, one continuous mud? In addition, in one place on the way between the place of loading and the place of unloading, the Tenor T-35 crosses a ford, albeit a small, but still a river, where an ordinary hauler will simply get bogged down. And now a paved and rammed road has been brought to the place of unloading, along which ordinary tractors can drive with semi-trailers, which then deliver sand to end customers along highways. Why can't a high-quality road be brought directly to the excavator? Because, having selected sand in one place, the excavator moves to another, and so on all the time, the quarry is big. Excellent cross-country ability of the articulated hauler is provided not only by all-wheel drive, high ground clearance and the presence of differential locking mechanisms in the transmission, but also by large diameter wheels with wide tires, and most importantly, a frame with a hinge, which ensures mobility even when overcoming deep snow, viscous sand and swampy areas. In fact, articulated haulers are the most passable among all-wheeled vehicles. Between the place of loading and the place of unloading, Tenor T-35 runs without stops and difficulties, but slowly, carrying 35 tons of cargo in its body with a capacity of 20 cubic meters. Note that the load capacity of the hauler is reflected in its name, T-35. But during unloading, the slowness disappears. From a horizontal to a vertical position, the body of the hauler rises in just a few seconds, and falls just as rapidly, a minimum of time is spent on the entire process of releasing the articulated hauler from the load, which increases its productivity. The almost vertical lifting of the body, together with the system of heating it with the exhaust gases of the engine, guarantees complete clearance of the load. The sand and earth carried by Tenor 35 are very wet, but they hardly freeze to the body, although when I was at the quarry, there was a minus temperature. Now let's see what's in the cockpit. Interestingly, inside it feels much more spacious than outside. Here is such a dashboard here, but I'll immediately clarify that this is its temporary version, and for serial haulers it will be more accurate and modern. And one more important nuance. The cabin is made double. To the left of the driver's seat is another seat, made folding. And to the right of the driver's seat is the automatic transmission control unit. A pre-production copy of the Tenor T-35 is currently being tested in the quarry. But due to recent political events that have complicated partnerships with foreign suppliers, the technical portrait of the articulated hauler is likely to change significantly in the future. Because, let me remind you, its prototype is equipped with a Cummins diesel engine with a capacity of 450 horsepower and an Allison 4500 automatic hydromechanical transmission. Now, due to the sanctions on Russia, the company is faced with the task of finding an alternative to American components. And if in relation to the engine this is not so difficult, since both Russian and Chinese manufacturers have samples similar in technical characteristics, then where to get another gearbox is a difficult question. Because all the most widely used hydromechanical transmissions on such equipment are manufactured by American companies. But Tenor specialists are sure that the problem can be solved. Because there are still alternative suppliers of automatic transmissions, they are just not well known on the international market. For example, hydromechanical gearboxes of the required class are manufactured by Russian, Belarusian and Chinese companies. It's just that now that inner company will have to spend additional efforts, and most importantly, additional time for the selection, adaptation and testing of their products. Nevertheless, Tenor expects that the Tenor T-35 articulated hauler without American units will appear at the beginning of 2023. In the meantime, two more Tenor T-35 haulers have been manufactured at the plant using American units, which have also been included in the testing process. But their tests are already being carried out directly with future customers.
at the end of the video, I will say that Tuna is developing another, more powerful and load-bearing model of an articulated hauler. It will be called Tuna T45 and will carry 45 tons of cargo. When this articulated hauler is built, I will make a separate video about it.